Buongiorno. Vario stick here. Lovely day. Where are we? I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, so I'll just put it on the screen. But whatever it is, welcome. We're back in Malizi, uh, just over the border from the south of Abruzzo. Uh, we're in the one of Malizi called Campi Abasso, uh, and it's a rather nice day. Beautiful place, some fantastic views. Very peaceful little southern Italian town. Wonderful atmosphere. Uh, some fantastic buildings some stone buildings despite the fact that it's not uh, it's certainly not the biggest town in the world it's a proper village some of the houses here look at that absolutely stunning lovely shutters and balconies great uh, aspect as well and again uh, we've got the great views out across uh, across uh, Malizi very peaceful, very quiet, lovely place. Don't know if you can see this on the uh, on the video, but those quick big blocks are actually individual bricks, and then uh, there's a course laid vertically to separate them. Very clever. Imagine doing that to the whole house. It must have taken an age to build it. Lovely archway above the door. Very pretty. Lovely detailing. Greenhouse. I think Mrs. Stickered like that. She likes green. I think it's a bit much on one big house maybe, but it's certainly uh, distinctive against the blue sky. What a wonderful, peaceful place. Wow. There's certainly a lot of uh, different architecture around. This one's like an old castle, isn't it? With a, with a turret on the end of it. And then you get some bigger properties and uh, some clearly newer properties. I do like that. Do you like that castle type thing, Mr. Stick? I do, very much. It's nice, isn't it? Different. Lovely. And then you get the older uh, more traditional properties to the side. It's uh, it's certainly an interesting place to explore. Like all the different architecture, very nice. Sun's got in, but at least that makes it a bit cooler. I have to say, this is probably one of my most favourite places. The character in the buildings, the changes in architecture, the colours of the buildings and the narrow streets. Just the general feel of it. I mean, look at this here. Absolutely beautiful building. Beautiful. Yeah, Nesboli tree there. Fantastic. 
You have to come here. I wonder if this is my favourite place. Is it your favourite place, Mrs Stick? Uh, I think it's getting there. It's getting there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's getting there. Not only that, but the views are stunning. Wow. As I've already mentioned, it's not, um, not the biggest place in the world. But you'd never get sick of exploring here. I can assure you of that. Some of the little alleys and walkways. And, you know, some of the trees and the plants that they've got out, obviously, a great deal of pride from the local community. It's quiet now, but that's because it's dinner time. <laughs> so everybody's having lunch or um, maybe a siesta. But lovely old tree here. Some pretty steep pathways, but at least fairly wide and you can get your vehicle up. Or fairly easy to walk. Lots of places to see. Right, well it had to come at some point. That's the steep pathway, at least the steps. Let's try the steps, because at the top, there's another stunning building. Wow, hang on. Well, it's not too bad. It's when you get about a hundred of these steps that it starts to get a bit wearing on the knees. But once you get up here, look at the old door. Been a few years since that's had a coal paint. <laughs> Lovely. Old stonework, nice to see. Crikey. You can get your car up here, I don't think. But certainly somewhere to come and uh, enjoy and explore. Don't do it on a hot day though. Could be hard work. Well, we've uh, made our way up one of these narrow little alleyways and we found this for sale. Looks like it's got a, a lower level or a cantina. Uh, mainly stone, but some brick. DC number 38. Uh, I think the top windows need a little bit of <laughs> care, some render. But that'd be nice. That'd be a fantastic project. I mean, just about get your car in not too far away. The car's down there. Ooh, rather nice. Shady as well. Maybe get a roof terrace on. Excellent project. Something Mrs. Stick uh, has just pointed out. Probably the tiniest house in, uh, in Southern Abruzzo, uh, Southern Abruzzo, in uh, Malise. One room upstairs. <laughs> and the front door downstairs. Crikey. And that's its width. There's not much to it. Number 10, I think number 11 next door. Don't suppose there'd be much hoovering to do. Housework would be a minimum. Wherever you look, it just, it just keeps getting better. It really does. We're back onto a bit more open roadway now, so the properties up here are certainly more accessible. Some nice colors as well, actually. And again, largely renovated and well maintained. I like that orange. That's nice. And the large stone building in front of us and the views again, staggering. Nice terrace there. Wow, you could sit there for some amount of time and enjoy the view, I'm sure. I don't think this one's inhabited. It's a shame, really. I don't know if you can see that little flower growing just there and <laughs> clinging on. Rather nice. Obviously uh, GoPro haven't developed smelly vision yet, but uh, the smell of the, the wood fires and 
a little bit of pizza cooking for lunch. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Really nice. That's so all of these buildings. That's quite a grand building, isn't it? Look at the doors on that. Set up, lovely little garden, courtyard. Garden. Very pretty. Quiet little spot. Get a chair there. Bottle of wine. Nice book. Is it getting any better? Stress levels zero. Absolutely zero. What a beautiful place this is. I'm going to open a Patreon channel. Help Mr. and Mrs. Stick buy this house. Dot com. <laughs> so if you want to. Uh, if you want to contribute 10,000 euros a month, then please feel free. The uh, view from here is stupendous, but the dog's not. Yeah, don't growl at me, you're on the chain, I'm safe. That would spoil it for me, the dog barking. But the outlook's lovely, as is the garden. Well, what a place. Probably my favorite. Atmosphere, 100%. Places to explore, 100%. The buildings, absolutely brilliant. There's a bar, there's a post office, there's a tobacco. What more do you need? Plenty of places to sit and relax. It's easy to get to. You're probably no more than 30 or 40 minutes from the coast, from Vasto and San Salvo, so you've got everything you need in those cities. If you're thinking about buying out here in, in southern Italy, in Abruzzo or Malisi, this place is somewhere you have to come. Really enjoyed this one. Don't forget, like and subscribe, it really does help the channel. And don't forget uh, the Facebook page, at Vario Stick. So, from this wonderful, wonderful village or town, this is Vario Stick saying, ciao ciao for now. <laughs>